Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our lesson number 29. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. I'm going to read it to you. Line segment AB forms one side of a square. Line segment AB, right here, A to B. This line segment AB forms one side of a square. Which question simply is which of the following could be the coordinates of another one of his vertices? Which coordinates of another one of his vertices? And A B have the vertices of 3, 3 and 3, 10. 3, 3 and 3, 10. Don't, don't, this, this A B has nothing to do with this, this A B C D because these are the answer choices. And we have negative 3 and 3, negative 3, 10, 7, 8, 10, 8, 10, 10. What I want you to do at this point is to pause the video, work on the problem. When you have the answer, when you have the solution, you can resume the video. I will give you a few seconds to pause and unpause. Very good. It is important that you actually solve it yourself. Don't continue watching it. There is no point in it. You must solve it yourself first. Have a piece of paper and pencil ready as you are watching this thing and do it. When I say pause it, pause it immediately and then solve it. Okay? Now listen. This extra part there that I put there is just for just for your own help. Obviously, in the exam, nobody's going to do that for you. The question here is which of the following could be the coordinates of another one of his vertices? Could be tells us that there are out of the five, four of them, out of the five, four of them, four of these cannot be. Four of these cannot be. The easiest and the simplest way to figure out which which one of these five is actually uh, uh, the, uh, qualif would qualify as uh, as the vertex. Of the, of the square and which of these four do not is to simply plot them out and see where they fall. That's all. And for those of you who are confused about this term here, vertices, just to be on the safe side I'm going to explain this thing. Vertex, vertices is a plural of the word of the word Vertex and vertex is just a simply vertex is just a very fancy way of way of saying corner. Vertex, vertex is just a fancy way of saying a corner. When when mathematicians have a picture. They do not talk about the corner or corners of this picture. They would talk about the vertex. This is a vertex, this is a vertex, this is a vertex, and this is a vertex. This picture has four vertices. So the course question was which one of these five answer choices that you see would what qualify as the one as one of the corners of the square? And as I said, the simplest way to figure out which one it is and which four are, 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 are the fake ones is simply plot them out. Negative three and three. Negative three and three. One, two, three, and three. Negative three and three. Does it work? Does it work? Does it uh, does it work? Or no? But you can't simply go by the looks of it. You have to analyze it a little bit. It this one does not work. A does not work, and I'll show you in a second why. A is not the right answer because you see from negative 3 to 3 is 3 points from here to here because this is negative 3 isn't it? negative 3 3 is 3 points and from here to here is also 3 but we can't have a square where this side from 3 to 10 from 3 to 10 is 7 so when was the last time you saw a square where one side is 6 and the other side is 7? It doesn't work. A is not the real one. A doesn't work. Let's try negative 3 and 10. Negative 3 and 10. Oh, negative 3 and 10 will have the exact same problem. You see negative 3? Right here is a negative 3 and 10. Negative 3 and 10. Same exact problem as, as the other one. Because you see, from negative 3 to 3, from negative 3 to 3 is 6. From here to here is 6. And but from here, from, from 10 to 3 is 7. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. 
Let's try 7 and 8. So I'm going to erase all the red bar here and we'll try C now, 7 and 8. Let's see what 7 and 8 fold. 7 and 8. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is not even 7 and 8. This is ridiculous. This is first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but that's first problem here, if you place 7 and 8, it's, it's, it's going to fall somewhere here. This is not going to make a square. For one thing, if it's 7, if it's 7, then from 3 to 7 is only 4 points. You see the x-coordinate of this one is 3, the x-coordinate of this one is 7, that's only 4. Which we already know the side of the square is 7. How do we know the side of the square is 7? Because they give you these two points here, A and B, this one has a coordinates of 3 and 3, this one has the coordinates of 3 and 10. From 3, y coordinates of a, which is 3, to y coordinates of b, which is 10, the difference is 7, right here. The side of the square is 7. But from 7 to 3, it's only 4. It doesn't work. That's not going to work. How about 10 and 8? 10 and 8. Now you see that. 10, 10, 10 looks like a very hope, hopeful prospect here. Because if this is 10, if this is 10 and this is 3, as you can see, 10 minus 3, the, the difference is 7. So that, that looks like a hopeful thing. 10 and 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 8. Ah, you see, that's the problem. 10 and 8 would fall here somewhere. That's not going to make a square. How can they, the, the x coordinate x coordinate of this one is right, it's a difference of 7 from 10 and 3, difference is 7, but the y coordinate is not right because y coordinate ends at 8 and this is 3, 3, 8 and 3, that's a difference of 5. But here the y coordinate has a difference of 7, that doesn't work. Let's do 10 and 10, 10 and 10. Voila. 10 and 10. That should work. That would work because now this is 3, this is 3, and this is 10. If from here to here is 7. From here to here is also 7. From 3 to 10, it works. You see, the x coordinate goes from 3 to the x coordinate. Well, x coordinate doesn't go anywhere because this is the line I'm talking about here. I meant here. The x coordinate will go from 3 to 10. And this one would be 3. Sorry, this one would be x coordinate would be 10 because it lines up with that one. And the y coordinate would be 3. There you go. So now from 3 to 7, the x coordinate is 7 as I, can, as I showed you here. From 3 or rather from 10 minus 3, that's 7, from 3 to 10 is 7, and from here, from y coordinate from 3 to 10 is 7. It makes a square. It's a 7 by 7 square. It's a 7 by 7 square. So they could have they could have made another problem out of it. They could give you the exact same problem, ex exactly the same thing, except the punch sign would be, what would be the area? Well, actually, that wouldn't work because we, we cannot figure out the square with just one line. Never mind. So that was the end of it. I will see you tomorrow. Day number 30, which is our last day where we deal with the concept of squares and rectangles. And then starting with day number 31, as I already explained to you before, I would either start uh, doing the problems dealing with uh, the concept of triangles, where we'll talk about areas of the triangles, or for the next 10 days from 31 through 40, I might do the problems dealing with the concept of slope. But one or the other, We'll do 10 problems on slope and 10 problems on the triangles. That's my next 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 10 project, okay? One more time, the first 10 days we did the introduction to the basic concept. The next 10 days, 11 through 20, we did the questions dealing with the area of this area and circumference of a circle. Today, tomorrow rather, day number 30, we'll finish the squares and the rectangles. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.